Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched video part 1 to part 4. Let me introduce some of terms in AP. In real life, we have scenarios where you need to find some of terms in AP. For example, let's suppose your teacher asks to increase the number of questions you solve per day by 1. For example, today you have solved one question, tomorrow you solve one plus one, two questions, then three questions, then four questions. You keep increasing the count. Daily you increase by one. And then you want to find the number of questions you have solved in the past hundred days. So it's very difficult. If you keep adding one number one by one, it is very difficult to find the answer. So thus we have got the formulas to find some of such terms very easily. The sum of terms in AP is represented by n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d. So let me tell you what are the values. n is the number of terms. For example, in this case, you want to find that 100, sum of 100, the sum of 100 terms, that is the number of questions you have solved in 100 days, then n will be 100. a is the first term, so in this case it will be 1. And d is the common difference. In this case, it will also be 1 because every day you are asked to increase your count by 1. Also, some of the terms in AP can also be written by n by 2 a plus l where l is the last terms. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and you know that this is till 179. This is a sequence of all odd number. You know this value and you can find, you want to find this easier. So you can just say this is a, this is l and n by 2, 2 a plus l. This is similar to this because when I am saying n by 2, 2 a plus n minus 1 d, this I can write in this fashion n by 2, a plus a plus n minus 1 d. a plus n minus 1 d is nothing but nth term that is n by 2 a plus p n. And this is nothing but this form. Same formula we have to write. The main, the most crucial formula is this. So please remember this formula. Sum of term in AP is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. You can ignore this formula for time being, but please remember this formula. Sum of term in AP is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Let's take an example. We have to find the sum of terms where the a, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 is the AP. First, let's confirm whether it's AP or not. 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, 9 minus 6 is 3, 12 minus 9 is 3, 15 minus 12 is 3. So we confirm that's a AP. Now we have to find the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means n is equal to 5. The first term is 3, a is equal to 3. The difference is 3, so d is equal to 3. So we have n, a and d. We know that sum is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So we can just fill in the values 5 by 2 into 2 into 3 plus 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 into d is equal to 3. So what you get is 5 by 2 into 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is 6 plus 12, this is 6 plus 12 is equal to 18, so I'll write 18 here and this cancel, this become 9, so 9 into 5 is equal to 45. So sum of terms of this is 45, we can do a cross verification also, 3 plus 6 9, 9 plus 9 18, 18 plus 12 is 30, 30 plus 15 is equal to 45. So when we do manual calculation and we do the calculation using formula, both give same result, that means our formula is correct. Please note, sum of the terms is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Now we will prove this formula using induction. So formula says sum of n terms is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 of d. This is the formula where the sequence is of this form a, a plus d a plus 2d, 
a plus 3d continue this is the sequence or this is a series not sequence because sequence is nothing but sum of series uh, so this is sequence series is nothing but sum of sequence so this is sequence a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d now sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d we have to prove by induction so to prove by induction what we do is we need we assume we prove that this statement is true for n is equal to 1 if it is true for n is equal to 1 we assume that this statement is true for n is equal to k and then we prove that statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so if we can do these three steps that means that formula is considered to be true by induction n is equal to 1 is true n is equal to k we assume this it is true and then we prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1 similarly we do here s1 is equal to n is equal to 1 will to 1 by 2 into 2 into a plus 1 minus 1 is 0 into d so this becomes 1 by 2 into 2a and that becomes a so we see the first term is a so that means this is true now we'll assume that s of k is true that means we'll assume that s of k is equal to k by 2 into 2a plus k minus 1 into d we'll assume that this is true now s of k plus 1 is nothing but s of k plus t of n plus 1 or k plus 1 because till k you are adding this plus you are adding t of k plus 1 correct so this becomes k by 2 into 2a plus k minus 1 into d plus t of k plus 1 is nothing but a plus k plus 1 minus 1 into d plus 1 minus 1 cancel that is a plus kd so if you solve this this becomes k by 2 into 2a this becomes ka plus k by 2 into kd this becomes k square d minus k by 2 into minus d this becomes k2 d and this is plus a plus kd correct so what we get here is what we get here is k a plus k square d by 2 this and this we can add so this becomes k d by 2 plus k d by 2 plus or we'll say we'll take a common here we'll put all the things with a here this k a plus a plus we can say k square d by 2 plus k d by 2 so what we get here is we take a common this becomes k plus 1 a into k plus 1 plus we take here k k d by 2 common into k plus 1 so this becomes nothing but k plus 1 into a plus k d by 2 this is the value we got and this is nothing but s of k plus 1 we can show you s of k plus 1 using the formula it will become k by 2 k plus 1 by 2 into 2a plus k plus 1 minus 1 into d so that is gone so this becomes k plus 1 by 2 into so this becomes k plus 1 or i can say k plus 1 into i'll take to common here plus k d by 2 so if you see this and this what we have got are same that's why we can prove that this formula is true using induction so induction with induction we can certify that this formula is true what we have done we have proved that this is true for n is equal to 1 we have assumed that this is true for n is equal to k here and then we have proved that this is true for n is equal to k plus 1 thus we have proved the summation formula that is sn is equal to n by 2 into 
a plus n minus 1 by n minus 1 into d using induction. Now let's try to prove the same thing using logic. So we'll write the sequence as we can write the sequence as a this becomes a plus d this becomes a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d dot 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 a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 1 because SN is the last time is a plus n minus 1d. This is the sequence we can write. Also the same sequence we can write like this in the reverse order. So let's write the same sequence in the reverse order. So first we'll write a plus n minus 1d. This will become a plus n minus 2d. Correct. This here we'll write a plus n minus 3d. Here we'll write a plus n minus 4d. This will become a plus n minus 5d. And this will become a. This will become a plus d. The same sequence I have written in the reverse direction. So if we add these two, if you add these two, this becomes 2sn. This is equal to a plus a plus n minus 1d. What do you get? a plus 2a plus n minus 1d. Similarly, a plus d plus a plus n minus 2d. This also becomes a plus a is 2a and n minus 2 plus 1 become n minus 1d. Similarly, here also, if you add these two, a plus a becomes 2a and n minus 3 plus 2 becomes n minus 1, so n minus 1. Similarly, all this becomes the same. We'll try the last two. Here also, a plus n minus 2, d plus a plus d. So, a plus a becomes 2a and n minus 2 plus 1 becomes n minus 1 n minus 1 d and this also becomes 2a plus n minus 1. So there are n number of terms so we can say this is also equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 d because all these are 2a plus n minus 1 d and they are n terms because this is 1, this is 2, this is n, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is n minus one. the n terms. So we can say 2 of Sn is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 d. We divide both this equation by 2. So what we get is Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And thus we have proved. So we have proved using logic. We have done nothing. We have just written S is equal to a, a plus d, a plus 2d till a plus n minus 1d. Also we have written Sn is equal to same thing in the reverse order. We have added this and we have found that all the sums are same that is 2a plus n minus 1d. So we wrote 2s is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1d. Dividing both the equation by 2 we get Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. We will take. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more.